Sam Briggs is an absolute big I was out there competing with somebody who was 19 years younger than me. What makes Sam Briggs an absolute beast? Fuck me. Everyone in the gym has those masters athletes who are a little bit of an animal. You're like, damn bro, you're pretty old, but you're just pretty fit. But imagine your masters athlete competed against the young guns and beat them constantly. Imagine someone twice your age outlifting you, outworking you, and outlasting you. There are only very few OG CrossFitters who are still in the game, and Sam Briggs is one of them. She may not have Kim Kardashian's looks, she may not have Sarah Sigmund's daughter's personality, but what Sam does have is the will to endure. Sam Briggs is a beast. Fucking tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me right now, tell me that I'm fucking wrong. Let me just tell you why she's a beast. This year alone, so the year of 2019, Sam Briggs qualified in five different ways. She qualified through the Open, she qualified through the Dubai CrossFit Championship, Aussie CrossFit Championship. She did qualify in teams, uh, and I believe it's the Reykjavik, Reykjavik. And then finally, she also qualified as a national champion. She also has the most event wins when it comes to the Worldwide CrossFit Open, winning 11 events. 11, bruh, like half the athletes can't even win fucking one. She's won 11 CrossFit Open events, most of them being conditioning based, but still, 11's fucking impressive nonetheless. Did I mention she's also 37? 37. Is your mum as fit as Sam Briggs? Mine ain't. Live in the moment till I die. And I'm gonna chase it. So what positive impact has Sam had on the CrossFit community? Sam's ability to go back to back, year to year, and still qualify for the CrossFit Games is astounding. No matter what the setting, no matter what the rules, no matter what the climate, Sam's ability to qualify year after year for the Games gives the older generation of CrossFit hope that they can also qualify for the Games as they get older in life and not have to look towards masters after the age of 35. Sam Briggs also came 18th in this year's CrossFit Games, and additionally, she won the Spirit of the Games Award. She hasn't done enough for the fucking community, you tell me what else she's done. Apart from being a fucking weapon. Then what's... Fuck up, crow. What separates Sam from the rest of the competition? What separates Sam from every other goddamn person out there? Her endurance. Excuse me, crow. Shut the fuck up. So what separates Sam from every other goddamn person out there? I mean, apart from her fucking age, the fact that she's an endurance god, the engine from England as all the commentators call her, um, I don't fucking know. Maybe the fact that she comes back from multiple injuries, forearm injuries, Achilles injuries, wrist injuries, she's able to compete again and again and not let these setbacks hold her back. And with the amount of injuries she has had, any crossfit would have gave up at that point, but not Sam. Her will to get back to the sport she loves is awe-inspiring for all ages, for anyone looking at competing.
Some of my favorite Sam Brig moments. Now, one of them is going to be a bit of a shitty one, but when Sam Briggs fell off the rope during a rope climb event at the CrossFit Games. Looked like it hurt. She landed on her ass. And she just kind of like, was like, oh shit. <laughs> you, she, I mean, if I was her judge and I didn't count the rep, I'd be a bit mad too. But like, fuck bro, I still touched that rope. It kind of is a devastating moment for me to choose, but gave me a fucking laugh. And probably the most memorable Sam Riggs moment from the 2016 CrossFit Games was trail run. If you've been around for a while, you would have seen the trail run 2016. Matt Fraser obviously dominated that event, but coming in third overall out of the men and the women was Sam Briggs and the famous running down of Brent Fikowski. Sam Briggs continues to pass male competitors on her final run on the paved section. She gets past Brent Fikowski and Briggs is the third person across the finish line. She wins the event for the women. She gets a time of 36 minutes, 8.65 seconds. That's good for her eighth career win at the CrossFit Games. Not only did he get run down by a woman, which is nothing wrong with that, but a woman who is older than him must have been a little bit demoralizing. You might be like, yeah, but she beat everyone else apart from Matt and Josh Bridges. But Brent got run down and Brent could not do anything to stop her from passing. He was fucked. Are you convinced that Sam Briggs is a fucking absolute beast? Are you convinced that she's a weapon, an unstoppable force, someone not to be meddled with on the CrossFit platform? Well, if you do think she's a fucking weapon, hit the like on this video. But you too could be an absolute beast if you just subscribe to my damn channel. Stay tuned for the next video. And for all you out there watching, stay a beast. Nobody likes change, but they get used to it.